Hello everyone, Chris here with the Javelin Tech Team. The other day I was asked a question about a method that we could use to apply a company's logo within an e-drawing and have that logo show up if any prints were made from that e-drawings file. This got me thinking about the stamp functionality within e-drawings and how it can be customized to apply your own images into eDrawings files. If you hover over one of the images, you can actually see the source of that image within Windows. And we'll take a look at that file path under the options for eDrawings. Here we have the file path for the 32 bit installation of eDrawings. I'm going to modify that path slightly to point it to my own directory. Now that I have the new location entered in, I'll just flip these uh, panes back and forth to refresh the stamps that I have available. Now we're ready to drag and drop our new custom stamps into our e-drawing. Keep in mind that you can manip manipulate this stamp drag it around and resize it only until you save the e-drawing. Once the e-drawing has been saved you'll no longer be able to manipulate the stamp. The trick to these stamps is to use an image file format that supports transparency. I'm just going to drag my Windows Explorer folder here over and we see I have two PNG files both of which are set with transparent backgrounds. Let's get that window out of the way there. And so keeping in mind, as long as we use an image file that supports transparency, most likely a PNG, we're able to create any type of image or logo we want and have that inserted into our e-drawing as a stamp. Let's go ahead and confirm those results on printed material by taking our stamp and choosing print. In this case I'll print to a PDF file. And we can see that indeed the, uh, the stamp does show up on our printed drawing. I hope this quick tip has added something to your workflow and I look forward to chatting with everyone soon.